My name is Larry Walther, and this is PrinciplesofAccounting.com, Chapter 1. In this module, we're going to look at the nature of financial accounting and managerial accounting. Let me begin with a definition of accounting. Accounting is a set of concepts and techniques that are used to measure and report financial information about an economic unit. The emphasis is on an economic unit ordinarily. That would be a corporation, a partnership, a sole proprietorship. Uh, it's important that we're talking about concepts and techniques within this definition. You may at this point in your study of accounting be thinking of accounting as primarily bookkeeping or processing. Certainly the methods or techniques are an important part of accounting, but beyond that the ideas or concepts that underlie accounting become very important and really form the robust part of the accounting profession. We also think about how to measure and report. Uh, that's the largest objective of accounting is how to measure and report. I want to use this uh, device to demonstrate the point that I'm trying to make about measuring and reporting. If you think about the company that, that deployed the huge investment to put up the cell towers and create the technology to allow these devices to occur and the process by which they recover that through sales. You see you've got a huge investment up front that's going to be recovered later through a revenue stream and that revenue stream becomes very complex. If you perhaps buy an item like this for a nominal amount, a hundred or two hundred or three hundred dollars, that's perhaps well below the company's cost to produce this item and certainly doesn't consider the huge investment in infrastructure that, that supports these devices. Uh, the, obviously the way the companies that sell them recover their money is through continuing monthly fees or, or service plans associated with these. So the customer that buys this at a bargain price is also expecting to have to pay for a two or three year contract. And so the question becomes, if you were the company, the cellular provider in this case, how would you recognize, how would you measure the revenue for each particular month or quarter or year, and how would that be reported for financial reporting purposes? Accounting uh, information is useful to business managers, owners, creditors, governmental units, financial analysts, employees, labor unions, and so forth. There's a broad group of interested parties in accounting information, which largely leads to a division of accounting between considering it as either financial accounting in nature or managerial accounting in nature. Uh, financial accounting is targeted toward external users because external users don't control the particular information flow that they're receiving. It's instead based upon standardized rules. And those rules in the United States are developed by the Financial Accounting Standards Board, or FASB, or sometimes simply called the FASB. It's a private sector group, not a governmental group. That's respected and honored, however, in terms of reporting practices and procedures. The uh, FASB's global counterpart is the International Accounting Standards Board. Uh, we often talk about the uh, rules, practices, and procedures that define accepted accounting practices as simply being generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. Uh, on a global basis, we refer to this as International Financial Reporting Standards, or IFRS. Uh, the, recognize that the IASB and the FASB are working on a project of global convergence that will lead to harmonization of accounting standards as well as perhaps even the unification of, of the standard setting bodies into a sting, single standard setting body at some uncertain future date. Standardization is very much needed in this age of global exchange and global investment. Uh, it's simply imperative that all parties play by the same rules book in terms of preparing and presenting accounting information to facilitate those global business transactions in a meaningful way. Managerial accounting is targeted toward specific needs of management. It's often called internal reporting or, or cost reporting. It has areas of emphasis, uh, business planning, business controlling, specific decision making. Should I make a capital investment in new machinery or should I simply go along with the machinery I've got? Uh, it is not nearly a structure. There's no particular set of rules that drives or guides managerial accounting. It is instead based upon the needs of management of a particular company. Whether we're talking about financial accounting or managerial accounting, recognize that there's a need for a strong information system uh, to reliably capture and summarize business information. I mean, over the last 20 and 30 years, we've seen huge strides in the quality and character of information systems. This has really reshaped accounting. It's far less of a bookkeeping, record-keeping task. The computer handles much of that now. It's more dynamic. Uh, decision-making based discipline, not a bookkeeping task. Uh, there are limitations to accounting that you ought to be aware of up front. 
First of all, it's not a hard science. It is a social science. It involves subjective judgments and estimations uh, that are necessary to develop specific accounting measurements for a particular period of time. There are interesting issues related to valuation in accounting. Should amounts be measured at historical cost or fair value? Historical cost is basically saying that as transactions and events occur, we capture the cost at that time and we maintain that in the accounting records as a basis of an objective, verifiable, and reliable measure for reporting purposes. The counter argument to that is though that fair value accounting, although it's subjective, uh, it forms a more relevant basis for measurement. And this is another area where we're going to see significant changes in accounting over the next decade or so in terms of an evolution toward fair value accounting. So it's a dynamic discipline and I hope you enjoy your study of accounting. I hope this first uh, module that differentiates between internal and external reporting, uh, managerial versus financial accounting is helpful in getting you off on the, on the right foot in your studies of accounting.